Dwayne Anderson. Just help yourself to my lips. Last week, we met South Auckland's greatest singer, Wayne Anderson, and his manager, Orlando Stewart. Help yourself to my lips, to my arms, and then let's really start to live. Desperate to break out of the rest home circuit, Wayne finally got an audition at a K Road night spot, The Thirsty Dog. Oh, give me the lighter, I just couldn't take great performance and a positive response from the locals saw Wayne get the job. Terrific, we got the gig. The vocal ability was the thing that they were judging on and that's something I carry with me everywhere I go. Exactly. And tonight's the big night. With future bookings in the balance, Wayne's prepared himself mentally and physically. He's ready to give 100%. Uh, I do a lot of preparation. Um, I was ready fairly early in the day but I've been thinking about the gig for fortnight, you know. And, uh, you know, shave and shower and get the hair right and uh, vocalise, have to warm up, you know, do the vocal exercises. I think preparation is a big thing. Nothing worse than uh, being rushed, you know. It's like eating, you know, when you're running out the door, a bit of toast, you know, indigestion, you know. You can have a meal, you know, sit down and do everything properly, take the necessary amount of time, you know. Very important to me. Because I like to look flashy when I'm on stage and people always comment and say, gee, that, that looks nice, that must have been expensive. Is that a real diamond? Tom Jones and Engelbert Humperdinck, they wear, one, they wear a crust like that. Because I'm a perfectionist, you know, I don't like anything to be less than 100%. If it's less than 100%, I'd rather not do it. I think when I put on my stage clothes like this, I become a different person. I'm all ready to go. So um, I think we plan to set off at seven so that we can get there and... Uh, uh, prepare and rehearse and uh, set up the sound checks and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Orlando to arrive at the moment. Oh, Hi, how are you? Good. Been I'm expecting running, you? Yeah, I know, I'm running a bit late. Oh, hey. Hoping, yeah, just, hoping uh, it was you. Yeah, yeah, cool, we yeah. better head off. Right. Um, you know, I'll just shove this back in the... Uh, yeah, I missed three fucking buses last night. Oh, right. Yeah, so we're running a bit late. Uh, but sorry, I mean, I think we'll still have time for a sound check and that. Yep. And um, so, what are you got to do? You got everything? Uh, I've done it, I've been prepared since 11 o'clock this morning, so uh, yeah, let's get in there because the sound check's got to be right. After a long bus trip from South Auckland to the city, Wayne and Orlando have just enough time for a quick sound check. Across the street to her house and she opened the door. Sounds good from here, Wayne. Too loud. So when you do it for the there's no need to go like that. No. Just go like that. So I like to hold it up a little bit. Oh, it's going to be a night to remember anyway. I think so. I reckon. Do you need a beer? Yeah, I do, yes. That'll, that will help. Me. With the sound check completed, it's a waiting game, and Orlando is a little nervous at the low turnout. Well, the night's been going okay so far. Sound check was really good, but it's actually not that many people have turned up, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm it's just that, you know, pre-match nerves, so, eh? But, you know, I mean, I, I'm confident it'll go well. Just I won't do anything coffee. wrong, it's so do other people, you know. If the microphone's right, the backing's right, I'll be right. So you're confident? I'm totally confident in myself. Yeah. So you're getting your song sorted out, are you? I hope to be, yeah. I need a pen and a paper and the CDs so I can see what I'm doing. I, I think that's probably only about 15, really, isn't it? They were quite short. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do six seats. Right. So. Uh, that's called the entertainment. Cocktail. Cocktail. Yes, an entertainment. <laughs> you could have an Orlando. Yeah. Not bad. Wayne and Orlando use the time between sound check and performance to do some last minute preparation. The sound check has gone really, really well. Um, Wayne's really excited, I'm excited, the pub's starting to fill up. He's already tried to get an advance on his um, performance speak twice for me, but I mean, it's K Road Man. It's crazy. Ha, 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 beautiful Sunday. This is my, my, my beautiful day. Yeah. 
Showtime arrives and Wayne is ready to give the performance of his career. Very special performance tonight all the way from Matthew Hayward is Wayne the Man Anderson. He does Tom Jones, he does Roy Orbison. So let's put it together, Mr Wayne Anderson. Thank you. Overcome with emotion, Orlando makes a snap decision. I have to quit. No, I have to. I've just had the most amazing night. I can't work at the video store anymore. I'm going to have to go. Okay, so that's it. It's over. Right. Catch you then. You're off, man. Tonight, the night was fantastic. It went really, really well. Probably one of the best gigs I've ever performed, actually. And it looks like they're going to invite me back next time. Um, don't quite know where Orlando is. He seemed to have buggered off somewhere. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to have to sort out the money side of it. But uh, uh, never mind about that. Uh, that's OK. I can do that. Um, but right now, uh, the bus is half past 11, so I'm going to have to skedaddle. So um, thanks very much once again. And uh, I better run for my bus. So catch you again. Coming up after the break, the team get down to business. If you put out a CD, how many do you reckon you'd sell? Minimum 1,000? Minimum. And Wayne car. solves the transport problem. I'm sure I can get a, a cheap car. It's got to be. Yeah, maybe a Japanese one with a wound back clock perhaps? <laughs> The morning after the gig, we find an upbeat Wayne reflecting on 30 years of collecting. This is the Tom Jones section. He's the most important singer in my collection. That's why he's, as you walk through the front door, you see him. There's a statue, there's a cardboard cutout of him there. And of course, this is his collection. This is his first record up there. That's his second one, What's New Pussycat. That's his third one, that's his fourth one, and so on. And it works its way around right to the 70s, right up to the late 70s, and so on. Um, I really have a flair for collecting, as you can see, it's not just music, it's collecting, which means order, system, being systematic, being tidy and orderly. And I think I actually got that flair from my father, who was a gun collector, who actually had the largest collection of Winchester rifles in Australasia. He had all his 120 guns spread around the wall from the 1866 one to the 1966 one, the centennial gold plate of Winchester. That's what he collected, Winchester rifles, with a little bullet underneath each one. Back in Auckland City, Orlando has a hangover. But the reality of unemployment forces him to focus. Managing Wayne's singing career is not just a hobby anymore and must become a profitable enterprise. So 
So apparently the gig went really well then, Orlando. Well, I thought it was the best performance I've ever seen you do. Yeah, and it felt good. It felt amazing. Yeah. So as good as the gig was, it's not what I actually came round to tell you, Wayne. Oh yeah, okay. I actually came round because at the gig, I got a bit pissed and I quit my job. I no longer work at the video store. Oh, well, yeah, okay, well that sounds all very fine, but have I got my hundred bucks? Wayne, I've actually left a good job for this. I've got a wife and kids to support. Yeah, I realise it must be a big deal for you and I appreciate it because it's going to work out better for both of us in the long run because it means you're going to be able to devote 100% of your managerial skills to me instead of dividing it up between your job and, and myself like it was before. True. Now I suppose that's the point right. of it all. And I mean, what do you need? Well, I've got suggestions, but that's your job, you know. As I've said before, what I like to do is to sing. You know, I can do that, and I can do that better than anyone else I know. And I'm happy to throw in my ideas, but uh, yeah, that's that's. I guess that's where you come in. Well, I did some some pretty simple maths. I'll bring. I've got this pad here. That I brought round. If you put out a CD, how many do you reckon you'd sell? Minimum you one thousand. Minimum. So it's one thousand times one Wayne CD. So we make $25 on each one. 25 times 1,000 is $25,000. I checked out the CD store and had a look at how much blank CDs are. They're $2 each. 1,000 times $2, 1,000 times two is $2,000. Generally, people would record an album in a studio, but they are expensive, so we won't do that. I was thinking a live album. You singing the standards live. What would it be? Wayne Anderson. Live at Sky City Theatre. Wayne Anderson, live. And it's got to work. Okay. Now, who would be the band to back me? Or would I be using the CDs that I've been using we couldn't Up do that for a live show, but I've got this design that I've worked on as well. Wayne Anderson needs you. Are you neat, tidy, manly, and above all, musical? NZ's greatest singer is seeking musicians for his backing band to perform hits from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. No crap. Mm -hmm. And that'd be at Weymouth Community Hall next Saturday. BYO Instruments. What I think we need is a blend of sufficient backing, but not over backing, so to keep the price down, you know, I'm thinking in your terms of territory now, but also I don't want to be um, uh, cluttered. So if it comes to a choice of being over backed or under backed, I'd go for under backed. I think you're right there, actually. And of course, naturally, it would keep the price down as well. Well, that's important because we've got other things we're going to need to spend money on, don't we? Yeah. Just You've obviously done a lot of homework. The figures look good. They do, don't they? And it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. That's the thing. Is, and it was so simple when I actually took it apart. Uh, hi, Glenn. How are you? Good. G'day. Good to... Oh, just up hey, to... Glenn. Just talking to... You. You've met Orlando, my manager here. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Good to yeah. see you. And this is the camera crew here. This is my best friend from uh, high school of 30 years. My friend Glenn Adamson who comes down and sees me every, uh, every day. Anyway, anyway Glenn... Um, how have you been? We're just going through... Hang on, just a minute. Looks like the sun's coming through too bright. It's shining on the records. It's going to damage them. I just need to pull the blinds down. Yeah. Um, Orlando's worked out these figures and say um, uh, 25. Say we sold 25 of them. Oh, sorry, 25 dollars each. At 25 dollars each times a thousand CD. That's how. That's the minimum that I would sell. That's 2,500. No, no, that's 25. Oh, sorry, 25,000. I found out how much CDs it costs. So. Like, Two thousand dollars. Take the two thousand off the twenty-five thousand, and you've got a total of twenty-three thousand dollars to play with. And to play with, and that's just cream. So I mean, this is just a start. Yeah, no. Obviously, you've done your but mathematics and your homework. It uh, looks we've good. We've got a plan, which is something we've yeah. never had before. No, that's I've right. got time, which I've never had before. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be taking shape. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but, I can see that. Yeah. Mm. But I always like to you know, explain to Glenn about things because I tell him everything, you know, and he's got great ideas. That's why um, I really like Glenn to be included as the ideas man, you know. Sometimes Glenn just comes up with it like that. That's, yeah. that's often when it's needed, you know. That's what I like about him. He's spontaneous, you see. Mm. Speaks his mind. Yeah. I've noticed that, actually. 
Coming up after the break, the search for Wayne's backing band starts with a poster run. That's a good place to put it, Orlando. A lot of people use the cash flow, including myself. And the team enjoy their first company dinner. Have a drumstick and a wing. Just one of each. The process of choosing a backing band for Wayne begins with a poster run announcing auditions to be held the following week at the Weymouth Community Centre. Let's put one up here. Have you got sellotape? Do you want some pushpins and a hammer? I guess, yeah. Well, sellotape or pushpins? What do you reckon? Pushpins might be better. Maybe. Mind you, when you go up to the notice boards up... Oh no, pushpins might be better, yeah. Pushpins and sellotape. We'll bring them both in case we need them, yeah. Okay. One red one. Yeah. One blue one. Oh, you got the hammer. Oh, watch your fingers. There's an ant crawling on your finger. Yeah, I see that. There we go. One outside the doctor's farm. I've got to make sure that the show is 100% before I take it on to yeah. it. We've got to make sure we get a CD out and everything's make sure in place. everything's in place. What we could do is, I'm thinking we'll do a, a tour maybe of the North Island, build up a bit of interest, then put out the CD. Yep. That starts interest in the next one, yep. and then that one's 2,000 copies. We don't want to flood the market though, we've got to make sure how we see how True. the first one sells, you know? Yeah, uh, well, you know, we could also maximise your appeal. As long as I'm comfortable with the whole thing, then, yeah. then we can give it the green light. Oh yeah, we yeah. need to get the green light. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, we might get a couple of car salesmen to turn up now. Yeah. Somebody's off their trolley. They are not set the sticks Drink. <laughs> Can you use this? Yeah, it's a good place to put it, Orlando. A lot of people use the cash flow, no. including myself. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Good. Not too many more places to go, is there? Cool. Well, I think that's a, that's a good day's work, Wayne. Let's I go reckon. grab something to eat, eh? Sure. You and Glenn? Drumstick and a wing. Just one of each. I'll get a uh, roast meat sandwich. Glenn? Nothing for you? Uh, nothing for me. You sure? Oh, uh, yeah. Can I get a receipt for that? Yeah. Charge that one to the company. Well, this is what it's going to be like from now on, guys. Right. No shops. It's time to get out of the rest home market. Sky City, here we come. Well, exactly. I mean, if you keep selling yourself cheap all the time, you get a reputation for that. And I mean, hundred dollars. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm worth every cent of that. Yeah, exactly. You get a hundred dollar man, not the fifty dollar man. Exactly. It was a busy day, but uh, the numbers Orlando spoke about made a lot of sense. It's obviously a big step for Orlando. He seemed he's quit his job and uh, he's got a wife and two kids so obviously it proves to me that he's very dedicated to um, my cause you know he really believes in me i think alendo's pretty good he knows his numbers three days later with the auditions looming orlando takes wayne to weymouth to get the green light on the venue gee this looks like a great venue for the auditions orlando Oh, it's brilliant. Yep, this is what we need, all right. We're really going places now, Orlando. I know, it feels like we're onwards and upwards, Wayne. Yep, I'd say the acoustics look good in there too. The acoustics look great. Oh, I can see the stage from here too. That looks great. And it's right in Weymouth, you know, exactly where you want the auditions to be. I used to live here, actually, just along the road there. Yeah? Good, no, I think this is perfect. Anyway, I brought along some CDs because I think really you need to improve your knowledge of music, eh? Because you're not sort of au fait with uh, some of these singers. 
So brought along um, some of the best. There's Elvis Presley. He's, he's yeah. the best of the lot. That's got a lot of his good stuff on it. Um, what else we got here? He's the world's most romantic singer. Thank you very much, I think. Good. Guard these CDs with your life, Orlando. They're very delicate. Need to be handled with care. By the way, Orlando, have I told you about my ideas for a radio station? No, I don't think you have. I've been giving it a lot of thought. Coming up next week, Wayne takes delivery of his custom-made record racks. This is the moment I've waited for. He sets the ground rules for the band. I think if anybody's taking drugs or alcohol, then you're less than 100%. And the relationship between manager and singer becomes strained. I rang Orlando up and told him what he'd done, you know, broken the CD case. He didn't really seem to understand. So I use you as a